What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel here, Forever Aquatics, because like I said, you know I do this forever. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown and an overview of my 40-gallon breeder. I'm going to give you a rundown on the scaping and uh, current stocking that I have on this tank, um, as well as some new additions, as sadly to say, some subtractions from this tank. Uh, if you guys know that I had two angel fish in here, if you notice, they are no longer with us. i um, not sure what happened. Um, they just one day uh, stopped eating and the next day they were gone. Um, I didn't even see any signs of uh, stress or I didn't see anything. They didn't give me any. Uh, reasons to believe that they were sick one day they just stopped eating and the next day they were gone so i'm not really sure what happened to those angel fish uh i just know sometimes it happens in the fish keeping world uh but uh, i did add some fish to this aquarium um the two new fish that I picked up for this aquarium, as you can see, I picked up a pair of a Pistogramma Agassizi. And these are the double red. Uh, I have in here six Rummy Nose Tetra. I also have uh, eight Neon Tetra. And I have six Denison Barbs or Rose Line Shark in here as well i also have uh electric blue ram and i have a german blue ram and i also have a german blue ram As far as scaping goes, guys, uh, it's very basic. Uh, what I was kind of going, what, what I was kind of going for was a, you know, kind of that Amazonian, you know, Orinoco River uh, type of biotope vibe. Um, so what I have in here to kind of make that happen is I added some guava leaves. I've added mangrove leaves uh and i also have uh some driftwood in here as well and these things just help to get that water to that uh slightly acidic um soft and uh just slightly tea colored you know what these fish uh actually thrive in in the wild uh and what i'm hoping for is to really get these a pistols to breed. I really want these guys to to spawn uh, without me having to move them from the aquarium. I kind of want a natural kind of. Uh, I'm looking for that natural behavior. Um, I'm hope is what I'm hoping for. Um, so. Yeah, and for as far as live plants goes, I have uh, some java fern. Now, I recently took those java fern out of the sand because they were not doing well at all. They started to grow uh, the little buds, uh, the little baby plants on on the leaflets. And uh, I think that was a sign that they were not doing well and... Uh, that they were dying. So what I did was just take them out of the sand and I kind of just super glued them onto this piece of driftwood here um, just to see what happens. Uh, I got some smaller ones all, all along with, so I'm hoping these guys kind of take off and kind of cover this whole piece of driftwood here. Um, within the next few months, uh, I have some Anubius Nana in here. I didn't take that one out of the sand because that one seems like it's actually thriving, uh, being planted in substrate. So I didn't take that out. And as well as the Amazon sword, I kind of left in there as well. As you can see, that one is really taken off uh, since I planted it in there. You can see the new leaf was kind of growing out of the sand there. Uh, 
So yeah, guys, uh, this is just a quick update and rundown on my 40 gallon breeder. Uh, some additions, uh, some subtractions, uh, but overall, um, oh yeah, as well, I did pick up another angelfish. Uh, I got him currently uh, in quarantine. I haven't got him able to eat yet, but I can't wait to add him uh, into this aquarium as well. But what I'm really hoping for, guys, I'm really hoping to get these two to spawn. I'm really hoping to get that for that to happen. A lot of times I just love just staring at the tank and just watching the natural uh, spawning behavior. Um, it's so interesting and you know, just oh, if, oh, and I forgot to mention, I have a little salt and pepper quarry. Uh, I believe the science, I'm not sure the scientific name, I believe it's the have bro, brosis quarry. Um, not really sure, but I think that guy must have got accidentally scooped uh, into the bag when I received the epistos. But I am not mad at all because. He does an excellent job of sifting through sand and getting all the small little tidbits of food that fall. So I actually want to get at least five to six more of these guys. Uh, these guys do uh, do thrive well in more of a group. So I am going to get probably more of those in the future. Um, but yeah, guys, just a, just a current update and um, on my 40 breeder. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, guys, and if you enjoy what you see, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.